So today we're speedrunning through Where's My Water, another one of those classic phone games that I'm sure a lot of you have memories for. And we're going to be doing two speedruns today, one for the Meet Swampy category and one for the Troubled Waters category. But we're starting with Meet Swampy. We can start our timer as soon as we click on the one right there. And yeah, here we go. If you don't know this game, basically this alligator needs his water. For some reason, his showers like this and all of these pipes are just burst every single time. I don't know why his pipes are so bad, why he can't just get correctly running water, but whatever. I'm just going to help him out because I guess I'm a nice guy. He seems pretty happy when you do this. Look at him dance around in his tub. I guess it's worth his happy dance, maybe. Whatever. I'm just not going to worry about the specifics. All I'm worried about is completing the game, finishing all these puzzles. Now, the game is actually pretty cool because they have a bunch of different puzzles, and it's one of those games with a relatively simple concept, but you're able to do so much with it. I guess that really categorizes, oh, God, my everything just lagged i it just lagged for me i wasted a tiny bit of time i'm just gonna keep going but like my mouse lagged i am on emulator right now because you actually can't get the original where's my water anymore so i have to use emulator and you know sometimes it just kind of feels like doing that which isn't the most fun thing in the world. Whatever, <laughs> we're just gonna continue on. It only wasted like two seconds. And I also forgot what point I was on and what I was talking about, whatever. So what we're on right now is now we have this level where you can see they're kind of introducing these green vines. Basically, if you hit the green vines with your water, they'll grow and stop your water and just make it disintegrate. So we really don't wanna hit those because then it kind of just ruins everything. And yeah, now we have this purple liquid, which is like, toxic waste. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. But I do know that we just don't want Swampy to get it in his shower because I'm pretty sure it might kill him. I mean, did you see how purple that was? It did not look appetizing. I just want my boy Swampy to have a nice clean shower that's not filled with toxic waste. But the toxic waste is kind of useful in some scenarios like this one where you can make it move and then it will destroy all the green stuff. So, you know, you can kind of use it in different ways. We can use it a little bit. It still is kind of a very dangerous thing that can ruin everything. Thing, but we're just not going to talk about that. You know, what? I'm just going to keep going with my puzzles. Okay, what's going to be the next one? A mixing bowl. Yeah, so this, we use the toxic waste to make all of that water into toxic waste. And then basically with that, we can use that to get rid of those vines, open up this path, and then we can move this other water once that clears out. We want to make sure that our water that we're using does not touch the toxic waste because it is very easy to lose all of your water and just ruin the run like that. So sometimes you got to wait a little bit longer, which feels very uncomfortable when I'm trying to speed run. I'm not going to lie, but you know, that's just kind of how you got to do it sometimes. Okay. For this one, we're going to let the toxic waste deal with all this green stuff. I know a lot of people are going to be mad for me calling this green stuff, but you know, it's like vines or something. It's some sort of vegetation. I'm just going to call it green stuff because I can, and we're going to wait, make sure that that, that toxic waste is gone and then we can start getting this out there and the water should be able to go right down to our boy swampy he'll be nice and happy i guess this duck also gets some i don't really care about the ducks you can get the ducks but they do also waste some more of your water and i don't really want that for my speed run i am usually the type of person that loves 100 percenting things but i don't know i'm just not gonna deal with the ducks look there's so much extra work swampy you can deal with not having some rubber duckies in your bath i'm already doing so much for you oh okay and for this one i almost just actually messed that up but we're gonna make sure that we divide and conquer. So we're gonna send some of the water over there and then some of the water will go over here because now we have these things where you have to press on them with water to move the platforms. So that's gonna create another couple of puzzles like this one, which is actually really interesting. We're gonna break a couple of these things. You can see it's called order of operations. You gotta make sure you do these at the right time. And then with this, we can kind of curve the water to go to the place that we need it to. Hopefully we will get enough. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. We got lucky there. I am happy with it. Okay, what's the next one gonna be? Um, it is going to be this one. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of a specific one where you just want to get a little bit of water to go over there to add to the toxic waste right here so you can deal with all the vegetation. I'm just going to move that over there. Make sure that gets there. Okay, that looks good. We'll get some more water to go down here. This is a scary part. I'm not going to lie. It is so easy to lose your water right here. And then it does this thing where it like pelts itself and wastes a tiny bit of time please come on just get down there dude just get down there i'll let that go over there and there we go our boy swampy got his water he's just so happy every time he gets his water it's so beautiful you know it makes everything worth it oh and this one is interesting so we have this conveyor belt where first we got to get rid of this toxic waste it'll go down there get rid of the vegetation and then after that we get some of this water for this level i'm not gonna lie it's kind of just a lot of waiting <laughs> you kind of just hope 
that things work out fast and you know we gotta just wait for all this water to fill up the tub he's so sad right now look at him please give him his water dude i don't want to see my boy swampy sad like that okay and i think we are so close to being done with this we're not just there yet for this one we go right there We'll get a bunch of water there. Make sure we don't touch the vegetation and get the rest of the water down there. That is not a good angle. Please be enough. Be enough for me. Please. This is taking way too long. That has to be it. Oh, that was so close. I almost just completely messed up my entire speed run, but it worked out. Okay, anyway, now we have off track. So we're gonna make sure we carve out just a tiny bit of water to go down there to deal with these conveyors. We don't wanna use too much of it. We don't wanna use too little of it because we wanna get all that stuff in there, but we do have to hit those conveyors. And we are so close to being done. I'm just like waiting for the last one. I don't know the exact point at which we are done. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forget, <laughs> but we will get there eventually. We have this one where we do this whole contraption and you know, Swampy just gets happy. That one's nice and easy. I like the fast ones because I guess this is a speed run. So obviously I like the fast ones. And now we have this seesaw, which is basically we're gonna wanna get a good amount of water to go down there. We kind of have to wait a second. And as soon as we have enough water, we can cut this open, get some of that to go there. It forms a seesaw where it moves all the water down here. Our boy Swampy is nice and happy. Look at him go, washing his entire body. He's doing well. Okay, and now we have drawbridge. Um, for this one, we just go down there. We get that to go. We're gonna get all this water and we kind of have to make it curve over there into this. I think this one is the last one, if I'm not correct. I, I think this one is. Please, I don't know if I should be ending my time yet or not. Um. Yeah, okay, it was the last one. So it was slightly before 729, but we're just gonna call it there, 729. Not the worst time in the world. This game is just so stressful. You're constantly worried about just ruining everything. But we're about to be even more worried because now we're going into troubled waters, which is even harder. So again, we can start the speed run as soon as we click one right there. We're gonna get a whole backstory, but I don't really care about the backstory because what I'm concerned about is my boy Swampy, who again is having some really big issues. I'm not sure why he hasn't like gotten someone professional to come fix these things because I feel like this problem happens to him way too often. But I guess we're that professional person for some reason. He's really counting on us to just do whatever the heck we're doing right now. But there we go. We have this pipe system where basically water goes in one end of the pipe, it goes out the other. And it's actually pretty cool. I really like how they made this. I mean, in reality, it's probably the worst way to design pipes because like that just shouldn't happen. You shouldn't have pipes this way. Who designed them this way? But it works from a gameplay aspect, just not how it would be in reality because I feel like that just opens up a ton of different problems that you probably shouldn't have in your pipe system. Oh, and then we have this one where basically we had to get the water over there before this grew up. We were able to do that nice and easy. Our boy Swampy is happy. I'm trying to talk and I'm just not focusing on what I have to do. So I really have to focus, especially on this one where we have this long journey down. We're trying not to get any of this in the vegetation. If it does, it's going to ruin everything. And then we can go right there, make sure that goes to the final pipe and we'll make it to our boy Swampy. Nice and easy, he's happy, let's go. Okay, what's gonna be the next one? Okay, so now it's this one where it's a bunch of more pipes and honestly, it's not the hardest one in the world. I just have to make sure I do it correctly and that should be good. I'm pretty sure we kind of made a little puddle of water right there, which isn't the best and the fastest thing, but that still should be a good speed run right there. We finished it for Swampy. He's able to shower, have a good time with that. Oh, and now it's this one. I cannot be talking. I just gotta be focusing on doing this because now we have this green liquid which literally destroys dirt. This stuff might get on Swampy's skin if you're not fast enough. Like this could easily kill Swampy. <laughs> I, do, I think the game kind of just glosses over that point. This green stuff is dangerous. That stuff could literally get, do you see what it's doing to that dirt right now? We really have to make sure that Swampy just doesn't die, which, you know, probably shouldn't be what's happening in a Disney game, but you know, <laughs> it is what's happening. Fear of death is happening for poor Swampy. And I guess we just gotta make sure that doesn't happen in different scenarios. Now we have this point. It's another one of these lever things. We just kind of make it all work together. You know, not too much to say about that level. And now we have this one step at a time thing where we wanna make sure the water goes and doesn't hit the green stuff. Here, we don't wanna do this one step at a time. We just want a gigantic puddle of water to make it there. And we barely were able to do that one. So I'm a little happy about that. And then we have this one, make a wave. Okay, this one's cool. So we wanna make sure we have a bunch of stuff we have to set up first of all. So I'm just gonna set up all that. 
And then finally, once all the water's down there, we can make this lever push that. It makes a huge wave of water that just spills all the way out and can make it to the pipe. I really like the ingenuity behind this one. Okay, and double jump time. This one is weird because we do not have two fingers. So we have to just make sure we can get all that stuff at the same time, but it's not too difficult. It was weird at first because I was like, oh, I don't have two fingers to do all of this. But then I just realized, okay, it's not actually that difficult. Oh, and this one bunker. Okay, I gotta make sure I go fast. I need to stop focusing on talking. I keep talking and Swampy might be dead. That's definitely getting into his pipes. Did you just, <laughs> he might be dead now, but we're just not going to talk about that, I guess. Okay. And we can do this one where we want all this water to get up there. Then we can spill it out. It'll all get into Swampy's tub. Nice and easy. Very fast level right there. And then mine the gap. Okay. So for this one, first of all, we want to get out this purple liquid so it can deal with the vines right there. Then we can let out the blue liquid and that's just going to be able to make it to Swampy. Look, there are all the ducks and stuff we could get but whatever we're not too worried about that oh and i love this level so this one you got to do a boomerang so we're getting a boomerang to move off of that wall and then go into here you do always have to take two cycles unfortunately but you know it's just a cool level i like it still okay and now stop and catch oh it's this one i could have i'm gonna restart this one because what you want to do is that and then you can finish the level right away. That level, the hardest part for me is just remembering when that level is gonna come up because then you can just do that strategy and not have to worry about actually solving puzzles. Why would I solve puzzles when I could just not do that? And now we have a puzzle we solve where basically we convert the water into this toxic waste so we can deal with the vines first. And then once that's done, once all those vines are gone, we're gonna get rid of the toxic waste and then we're gonna let the water just go in there. Okay, please. I wanted to make sure that there was no more toxic ways to make it into my poor boy Swampy's bath. But there we go. Nice and easy. We finally were able to do that one. Okay, and what's this one going to be? This is a nice and long one. Oh, this is the unstoppable one. Okay, so we want to make a path over here. Make sure it goes there before the green stuff can. Please, I hope this is enough water. That's a lot of green stuff coming very fast towards us. Please, Swampy, get your water. Quick, dude. Okay, and that is just enough. Okay, I was a little bit worried about that one. Some of these levels just freak me out because I'm like, okay, did I go fast enough at all? And for this one, oh, this one's hard. This one's just difficult because you have to hope that you get the right dent in there to make enough water go and we didn't get it right there. I'm gonna have to try that again. So you have to put a dent in the system and then it just has to work. You can do this the way the level wants you to, but that's also boring. I'd rather just do it the cool way where we just cheese the entire thing. That sounds much more exciting. And I think that should be enough water this time, please. Okay, just enough. And we should be on the very last level with this next one. At least I think it's the very last level. Yes, it is. So this one, okay, so we're gonna put this in there and that's going to kind of like separate those waters then we can move this water over there and let that go down so it can deal with all the vines over there and we're gonna let that stuff go out in just a second just let it deal with that i might have done that a little too early and it might not deal with that but we should be fine and then finally we can let that last water go down and it should make it to the end i'm a little worried about those vines Please just do not destroy me right here. This is literally the end of the run. And there we go. We are going to be able to call time right there. And if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that our times weren't the best in the world, but we were about halfway through the leaderboards for both of the levels. So I'm happy with it. But yeah, that's our speedruns for Where's My Water. If you want to see more of these speedruns, there are more levels like for Cranky, Alley, and there's a whole Where's My Water too. So if you do want to see that, make sure to put it in the comment section. And along with that, if you did enjoy this video, if you like these kind of speedruns. I do plenty of old nostalgic game speedruns along with just speedruns in general on this channel. So if that's your type of content, definitely check it out. But enough shilling. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.